It's been so long since I've been here. I don't know if anybody's going to pop in here. We'll see. Regis Ann. Hey, James. I didn't know if anybody was going to be here. Hey. Hold on. I'm trying to get it all set up where I can share it. Stand by. Stand by. Go to live. And right now... Share and copy and there we go. All right. Hey, Aaron. <clears throat> I hope you're all doing good. Okay, <clears throat> so thanks for your patience. As you know, mid-February, I headed uh, down to New Zealand and had a great tour. But halfway through it, uh, I completely lost my voice. Computer just fritzed. What's going on here? <clears throat> um, yeah, my my uh, my voice went out on me, and uh, honestly, I've been uh, trying to get it back. It has been uh, a process. Y'all, I don't know what's going on here. I'm clearly haven't done this in a while, huh? There we go. Sorry, my computer just stopped. Okay, I think we're back. Let's start that up again. Okay, all right, we're back. Yeah, that was weird. Anyways, um... Lost my voice, and I, I, I'd get it back for a little bit. Uh, I, I mean, I had no voice for several days, but then I did get it back, and uh, hello, Dance Queen. Um, uh, and, and I don't think it's 100% back now, but I've really missed visiting with y'all. So I thought I'd come and, uh, and you know, give it a try and hang out with you a bit. Um, see how you guys are. <coughs> um, I never, I was never sick, which is a funny thing. I just, I just completely lost my voice and my daughter was there and she took over. She did a couple of the shows and, and did a great job. She'd never played with bands before. 
So that was wild. Um, so yeah, but what about you guys? What's, uh, what's going on? Hey, Connie. Connie, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? And uh, uh, anyways, but we got back. New Zealand was an amazing time. Just one of the one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. And the people are beautiful. Great country singers there. I mean, I met I met some really really great country singers and. Speaking of country singers uh, from New Zealand, my buddy Keith Pereira uh, just dropped his first ever single and music video. It's a song called Yeehaw, so check that out. Um, Aaron says, as of 2.15 yesterday, I got a call saying one of my parents' dogs got out. It's been missing for 13 hours. Oh, man, I hate that. I hate that. Sorry to hear that. Uh, but Connie is a grandma now. Congratulations. I feel like that that deserves uh, a song about grandmas that like to dance. Have you seen my granny used to honky tonk video, Connie? Let's do that song for you here. If I could do it, Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Papa liked the whiskey and threw a little dice. And Louisa did it, Uncle Buddy too. Had a ball last call out in at the moon. We carry the tradition our family taught us right. And Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Yeah, yeah. Mama loved to dance, shake it left, shake it right. She'd flash a little leg and drive the fellas wild. Daddy had a hot rod, Chevy 53, burn rubber through the town till he wrapped around a tree. Hung out with the rowdies, it cuss and smoke and fight. And Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Now she's knitting mittens and bacon we well, wish it was a real firecracker in her time. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Yeah, yeah. Well, we ain't doing nothing. Ain't been done before. It's way back when some of good old boys threw sawdust. Growing underneath a neon light And Granny used to honky-tonk Every Friday night Yeah, yeah Saturday tailgating Party with the fam Got dogs and burgers cooking Cold beer in a can Sunday morning finds us all Singing with the choir Sitting in the front row Catching hellfire The Bible told me Jesus turned the water in Wine. And Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Now she's knitting mittens and baking apple pie. Wish she was a real firecracker in her time. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Now she's knitting mittens and baking cherry pie. We carry the tradition our family taught us right. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. Granny used to honky tonk every Friday night. <laughs> There you go. Granny used to honky tonk. Ah. Trevor and Kathy are here.
Trevor and Kathy actually came from Australia to New Zealand to hang out at the festival. And Kathy, I want to tell you, uh, my daughter just adores you. And, uh, and, uh, was she's actually referenced you i think last week we were talking and she goes i sure like that kathy so uh it was great to meet you both in person uh i mean i love i love these interactions with everybody but uh uh to actually see y'all at a show and and get to shake your hand and or give you a hug for the first time that that's just that's that's a cool thing and i appreciate you guys making the trip I felt bad we were going to try to get together a few days later, but a few days later I had completely lost my voice, and so I wasn't talking. It, it would have not been a great visit because I would have just been sitting there staring at you. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I think I was on complete vocal rest for four or five days, uh, except for I, I croaked out a couple of songs at one show, and then my daughter took over, and then... Uh, and then the next day I was okay enough to do a few more songs, but yeah, crazy. No, 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 thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. That was, that was very, very special. Um, and then, uh, uh, and then I got home and I had a, a couple of weeks where I didn't have shows and then I had a couple of shows. So I was really just not doing these Friday lives because I really wanted to preserve what I had for the things that I had booked. And I and I wasn't gonna do one today because I was supposed to go in the studio tonight, but that got moved to the 9th of, Mar of April. Um, yeah, to the 9th of April. So, uh, and, and in that vocal session, I'm finishing up that, the new project. Uh, so I will have a new EP coming out in June. I know I just released an album in September, but this is uh, this is a little different. Uh, we enjoy meeting you and your daughter, a lovely young lady. Yes, yes, she is. And more talented than I realized, Trevor. You, uh, Sunday after the Kevin, uh, after Kevin's, Kevin Greaves' uh, memorial concert uh, at our host family's, there was a song swap and that's when my voice started going out <clears throat> good morning tim and uh and so there, there was i don't know several of us trading songs but it got around to me the third time and like i said my throat was getting scratchy and my daughter said hey give me the guitar old man and then she plays the song I've never heard her play a song on guitar, and I've never heard her play a song and sing. And then the next time it came around to her, she played an original song. I've never heard one of her original songs. I didn't know she wrote songs. Every time she'd have a guitar out, when she heard me come home, she'd put it away, back when she lived with us. So... So anyways, they loved it so much, they told her to do another one. So she does another original song. The girl is writing great songs. Uh, she's playing guitar wonderfully. So it was, it was crazy, you guys. I'd never, I'd never heard or seen that. And uh, yeah, she's something else. So a lot of surprises in that girl. Um, but what are you guys in the mood for? What do you want to hear? Keeping in mind that uh, I, I'm probably about 70% voice here. But I have not completely lost my voice since I was like 24 years old. Uh, and, and then it was lost for a couple of months because back then I didn't know how to take care of it. I thought the cure was, at the time I was singing six nights a week, I was a full-time, in a full-time rock band. And uh, I thought the answer was uh, boiling hot water and wild turkey whiskey. That is not the remedy when you got a uh, no voice. On the upside, my uh, 
my Black Crows was right on point. Amy says, put another quarter in the ride. I know Trevor loves that song too. That sounds great. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Our friends were taking bets how long this thing would last as they stood beside us on our wedding day. Honey, we sure proved them wrong. Twenty-five years holding on. Two young foolish lovers blew them odds away. Living on white bread and rice, pinching pennies, stretching dimes. We was good back then and barely getting by. Just look how far we've come Still together, still in love Honey, let's put another quarter in a ride We've won and lost, laughed and cried Throughout our story We had for better and for worse We can't say we've had more up and down Since it's all been fun well that would be a lie but we made it through it all standing like that china wall honey let's put another quarter in the ride we've won and lost laughed and cried throughout our story and for better and for worse We can't say we've had more in Oh, oh well, the hard work's all been done The kids are grown and gone What's next? It's up to us to redefine There's a big old world to see Let's go find it, you with me. Let's put another quarter in a ride. Da, 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 da. Ah, let's put another quarter in the ride. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, da, 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 da. There you go, Amy. Kathy Ricard, you should feature one of your daughter's songs on your next album. <coughs> I think she wants them on her own album. She was very inspired by uh, New Zealand and loved the idea of traveling around the world and playing music. So who knows what she's going to do? I'm, I'm trying to just lay back and watch. I told her, whatever you need help wise I'm here for you but um, with her the more I try to get involved and direct the less inclined she is to uh, to take part so I just kind of lay back and 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 watch her but I'm here to help when she uh, when she wants it but I don't know that she needs it Um, I am watching, Jen and I are watching, uh, season five of Fargo. Has have anybody ever watched that show? Well, the movie was great back in the day. I remember the movie, but, uh, but the TV show, I've not watched any of the seasons of Fargo, but, um, if any of you watch Ted Lasso, the gal that played Keeley, and Ted Lasso is in season five of Fargo, and we both really liked her. She was one of our favorite uh, characters in Ted Lasso. So, 
so we thought we'd give Fargo a try. And what a great show. I mean, so many twists and turns. Um, I got three more episodes to watch, and I'm betting they'll be finished by the end of tonight before I go to bed. But um, she is a remarkable actress. <laughs> She is an absolutely remarkable actress, and I, I thought I thought she was a good actress from watching her in in uh, Ted Lasso. But to see a whole different character, um, wow! I don't know if any of you guys have seen that show. What are you guys watching right now? <clears throat> yeah, Fargo season five. <clears throat> well, I hope I got an hour in me, guys. We'll see. Uh, you know what, though, since since we last spoke, uh, Kirsty Krause has released her version of our song, Beaches Be Crazy. So uh, you should all go, if, if you download music, uh, please look up Beaches Be Crazy by Kirsty Krause. That's K-I-R-S-T-I-E-K-R-A-U-S. Kirsty Krause. Here's a song she released. <clears throat> we wrote it a couple of years ago. Toss a mullet in Perdido. Sucking down mojitos. Cabana out in Lido. Beaches be crazy. Beaches be crazy. Bike week in Daytona. Lime in my Corona, sugar, sand, and Pensacola. Beaches be crazy. Beaches be crazy. Well, it's sure good to know there's somewhere you can go. Just pick a coast and leave yourself behind. Show off your wild side. I haven't played it in this key before. Sorry. <clears throat> Wet t shirt in South Padre. Body shots of Jose. All nighters with a DJ. Beaches be crazy. Beaches be crazy. They're half naked in Miami, stoned in Venice, Cali, getting laid in Hawaii. Beaches be crazy. Beaches be crazy. Ba da da. Ba 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 da. like to hear my recorded version that'll be on the new cd coming out in june june of this year 
my new EP. It's going to be Hillbilly Trop Rock. So if any of you like Jimmy Buffett type stuff, um, if you have any of my CDs, you know that there's typically at least one beachy song on the CDs. Uh, I've just put a few of those together with a bunch of new ones and, uh, and yeah, just kind of, I, the, the big thing is, is uh, I've done some really, really cool house concerts within the Parrot Head Club communities. And they've all said the same thing. They say, wow, this is great. And, and you're a perfect fit. And they didn't believe I would be because everything is so honky tonk with a, with the full band. But solo acoustic, it definitely has more of that singer songwriter feel. And it fits in really well with what they do. So I'm just putting a project together that's a little more packaged for them and, uh, and with a bunch of songs in, in that vein. <coughs> just to, to try, honestly, to try to get more of those, those shows. Uh, as far as domestically in the U.S., those are amazing shows to be playing. And their festivals and everything. Um, so, just another another uh, avenue, another another group of people to, to reach out to. But it's still country. It's still, you know, my voice and everything. It's just in that in that little extra genre, I guess, is what you call that. So, uh, she follows me on Spotify. Woo woo. Awesome. I'll do another one. This is, this, this is one I just tracked. And you guys might have heard this song before, but I sped it up and changed the rhythm a little bit because I wasn't sure what to do with it. And then I realized it fit this new project perfect if I just uh, tweaked it a little bit. They say the early bird gets the worm, but then that early worm gets eight. So I believe I'm gonna stay in bed till ten and cook some toast and eggs. Where the red race so we roll around. Dead fish. 
muskets, the cheese, and who say what this all means? I sure as hell don't know. But even so, oh, only dead fish go in the flow. So I keep on swimming upstream, yeah, that's the only love I know. And the finish line will find me anyway, I suppose. Only dead fish go with the flow. Oh, 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 only dead fish go with the flow. Hey, but only, hey, but only. What do you think of that one? <clears throat> the tracks came out beautifully. Super excited. Uh, so yeah, on the 9th, I go in and record vocals on that. <clears throat> on Sunburn for Christmas and Time Flies When You're Having Rum. Because I re-recorded that one. That's an old song from a CD of mine back in... Boy. Probably... 2011 and I, I love the uh, version I have but I when I put it with all the other songs it just didn't sound it lost some cohesiveness because it was recorded with a whole different bunch of people and in a whole different studio with a whole different producer and so it just didn't sound like the rest of the song so I just re-recorded it with, with, with all my guys, and it came out beautifully. Thank you, James. <clears throat> um, Trevor says, another lady here next month and touring Kinsey Rose from Nashville, who is on Reba's team in The Voice, who I think Reba just started being on The Voice, right? Um, you know, I, I don't know her, um, but I do run into a lot of people who are on The Voice, that's for sure. I just met a group called The the Dries that were on season 22. It's a, it's a husband and wife duo couple. <coughs> and uh, I just met them last week at, at a show I did. Nice, nice kids, and, and uh, they sounded great. We're actually supposed to write. So that, that'll be fun. Dramatic a change as here comes the night. Here comes the night. Right on time and I'm so lonely. Sun goes down. Leaving nothing but the blues. All day I'm fine. You'd never know by looking at me. Every night I'm still crying over you In the morning I'll wake up Light my first and fill a cup Feed the dogs, pack a lunch And get on gone I'll clock in and earn my pay Work it through another day Deep inside my heart is dreading what's to come. Here comes a night right on time, and I'm so lonely. Sun goes down, leaving nothing but the blues. All day I'm fine, you never know by looking at me. Every night I'm still crying over you When the evening starts to fall And the shadows climb the walls That's when time begins to crawl and tortures me I've tried whiskey, beer and wine 
Nothing drinks you off my mind in the dark I'm haunted by your memory Here comes the night I'll write on time and I'm so lonely Sun goes down Leaving nothing but the blues All day I find you never know by looking at me Every night I'm still crying over you Da 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 All day I'm fine you'd never know by looking at me Every night I'm still crying over you Here comes the night <clears throat> All right, but you know, you're right, Tim. I, I, I get what you're saying because <clears throat> you heard Here Comes the Night when I was first putting it together. And then I just changed up how I was singing it. And it's the same thing with Dead Fish, because Dead Fish was more of a... Uh, uh, well, I was yodeling in it. It was more of a, I don't know, just kind of a folk country. And I think that was it. I, I had no idea where I was going to put it, because I don't think it really fits in a honky-tonk CD. I love the song. So as I was listening to what I had on the EP, I needed one more fast song. So I was just kind of looking at the catalog saying, what do I have? You know, instead of, I, I, I know I can write a new song if I have to, but what do I have? And, uh, and I was trying a few different things, but there are some songs that I've written that I already know where they go as far as what, what kind of album that would go on. Uh, Dead Fish, I really didn't know. And... The fish aspect of it makes it kind of a fun tropical thing. And uh, so I just tried it. I said, well, let me try. And I was thinking of the old uh, Jimmy Buffett song. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ba -da -ba 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 ba da ba 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 I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go with a volcano blow. So that was the rhythm I was thinking of. So that's ah da 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 the tempo and made it work. Um, looking at that catalog, well, that's a songwriter's songs. It's called "It's in Your Catalog," and I mean, I have, I have hundreds of songs that I've never recorded and that I, I never will. Just run out of time. And there's only so much you can do. But uh, a critters. I know you mentioned Critters earlier. I don't know if you know this, because Critters is, uh, that was another one where I needed one more fast song on a project. Uh, I just had too many mid-tempos and, and slow songs, so I needed one more fast one. And I was just going to write some stuff. But I said, well, let me see what I have. And uh, Critters... Uh, will eventually get re-recorded on a blues project, too, because Critters was originally an old blues song. It's this swampy blues thing. Critter gonna crawl where it's dark and dank. Shrimp gonna boil, skunk gonna stink. Old hound dog gonna howl at the moon Firefly light up every night in June Pretty gonna crawl, I'm gonna fall for you Cricket gonna fiddle, a froggy gonna crow 
Porcupine in the middle. Porcupine going to poke. So that's how that's how Critters originally was. It was a much uh, slower, uh, just slow driving blues song. Well, when it comes to what happened in between me and you, nature going to do what nature going to do. Um, but I need another fast song. So I just said, well, what if I... Critter going to crawl. Where it's dark and dang Shrimp gonna bow, oh, 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 skunk gonna stay Oh, hound dog gonna howl at the moon Fly, fly, light up every night in June Critter gonna crawl, I'm gonna fall for you A little more John anderson E right? Cricket gonna fiddle Froggy gonna crawl, armadillo in the middle, porcupine gonna hold. Well, you never seen a horse like a Tennessee stud. That fish you gonna swim in Mississippi mud. Really gonna crawl, I'm gonna fall for you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I'm kind of going all over the place to tell a story. Can't wait for that or your next Central Texas swing. I just, I'm working on a swing song right now with uh, with Carlos Washington. Um, I don't know if I have those, those lyrics somewhere. I don't even know if I could do, I don't, I don't know if I could do it. Just because... I don't know that we've completely got it worked out. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that, uh, I'm saying that a lot, sorry. Call, call my baby on my lunch break. She'd been on my mind. How's your day? How's your day? How's your day? What you thinking about for dinner tonight? No, that's not, that's not it. I have to find the one from, uh, that's, that's the wrong version. Yeah, I'll work on that. But I do. I do have a, a swing song I'm working on called Nothing But Supper On. She got nothing, nothing but supper on. I can't wait to get back home. I bet, I, I bet I'm bet i starving all night long. She got nothing but supper on. ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba Yeah. It's a nothing. Nothing but supper on. I can't wait to get back home. I bet I'm starving all night long. She got nothing, nothing but supper on. Ba -ba Anyways, that's something I'm working on. Um, there's always a few songs <clears throat> in the hopper. With the few people I write with, uh, I'm supposed to be writing one with Shelby Lee Lowe pretty soon, uh, so we have to get that on the books. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, oh! Hello there, my old friends. For I never be back here again, but my baby found another man. Where else would I go? Be but where those Guitars and broken hearts are playing all night long Where they serve lonely by the double To an old Keith Whitley song Where the lights are dim and drunk And promises are all believed It's steel guitars and broken hearts for me Who haven't done this in a while? Da, 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 da. It's funny how things never change Same stories, just different names A teardrop falls, a 
jukebox plays And everything I need is right where those steel guitars And broken hearts are playing all night long They pour law only by the double To a George and Tammy song Where the lights are dim and drunk And promises are all believed it's steel guitars and broken hearts for me. Da 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 Someone's hurting every day And that's why those steel guitars and broken hearts Are playing all night long For they pour low only by the double To another haggard song Where the lights are dim and drunk And promises are all believed It's steel guitars and broken hearts Come on in and play your part It's steel guitars and broken hearts for me There you go, Trevor. Um, I, uh, what else am I watching? So I'm watching Fargo. Uh, and then, so, in the 90s, you're welcome, buddy. In the 90s, my, I had just gotten married. My son was born in 93. Uh, but, actually, my whole life, I was a big comic book collector, comic book nerd. <clears throat> and in the 70s and 80s, my favorite was the X-Men. I love the X-Men and the 90s, and the 2000s. Um, but in the 90s, there was the X-Men cartoon. And I don't know if any of you used to watch the X-Men cartoon, but um, uh, they have created a whole new animated series on Disney Plus called X-Men 97, and it just takes up right where that show left off back in the 90s it stopped in 97 and uh and this just takes right up with the story but it's better animation but still true to the original animation style it's been so much fun to watch so that that's the other thing i'm watching right now on Dis on disney plus but uh ah trevor like the phantom whoa I always thought that was one of the coolest costumes the Phantom had that that purple with the with the the stripes and uh, and that that cool mask. Yeah, I like the Phantom. They did a movie with uh, Billy Zane played the lead in that, and I don't think it was a very good movie. I still watched it, and I didn't hate it. It was kind of before they got all the the new special effects and all that. But uh, but yeah, I like the Phantom too. Kind of running around in the jungle and, and, you know. Was he kind of in the same vein as Johnny Quest? Wasn't that like the same people? I don't remember. I don't think I've worn this shirt for y'all before. This is, uh, um, my friend Ray Stevenson who does all of my jackets. Uh, I found these these Wrangler denim shirts, blue and black Wrangler denim shirts, uh, for super cheap at Walmart, and they fit great and they 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 feel good. They're kind of stretchy, and so I just bought a bunch of them and took them over to Ray and let him uh, do whatever he wanted to with them. And uh, it's just nice some 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 casual gig gear that still has a little bit of 
a little bit of flash to it. Uh, Tim, I entered middle age by watching Family Feud. <laughs> you know, I enjoy Family Feud. I, I think Steve Harvey does a good job as a host. I did like Richard Dawson, but that's a little problematic the way he used to smooch on all the girls nowadays. I don't, I don't think that would fly that well. But uh, no, we do like a little, uh, a little, uh, Family Feud, but, you know, wait till you start planning your evenings around Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah, so I, I love that show. I'm a monster at Wheel of Fortune. I make my family crazy because I won't, I won't try to get on the show because I solve things super fast. But here's why I don't do it. Um, I'm scared to death that I would freeze once I got there and, and I'd end up being one of those people that just got zero and they give you a thousand dollars. So you go away and slink back with your tail under your legs. So yeah, yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm scared. Okay. I'll admit it. Uh, I don't want to tank on Wheel of Fortune because I'm so good at it. Um, but I'm afraid I would just... And I'd be excited to meet Pat uh, because Pat got his start as a DJ, as a radio DJ on WSM Radio, uh, where I had a show for many years as a radio host on, on WSM. So... Uh, Oh hey Trevor, um, did you uh, did you ever run the uh, the interview that we did? Um, that was a funny interview because there was another artist there, and and he was talking to Trevor and I. We were all just kind of chit chatting after after my set. Or maybe it was before. I don't remember. But we were chit-chatting. and uh, But I, Trevor and I were trying to get into another room to do an interview. And uh, and so I said, I, I, I said, well, let's get a picture together, me and Trevor and this, this other guy. So we took a picture and I said, hey, we're going to go do this interview. And the other artist was like, okay. I said, all right, yeah, so we got to get in this other room. So he just kind of came in the room with us and sat down with us. And I think he thought I was saying, hey, we'd like you to come do this interview with us. I was really just trying to extricate Trevor and I from the conversation so we could go do this, this interview. But he misunderstood or I didn't communicate it properly. And uh, so I, as we're walking, I told Trevor... I said, hey, ask him a couple questions, okay? And uh, and he he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I mean, I was super impressed with Trevor because he just came up with a couple of questions to, to throw at this guy and, and he was just part of the interview, um, which was funny. Uh, and I didn't mind, he's a, he's a super nice guy and, and wonderful voice, uh, Maori artist. Uh, that's, that's their indigenous tribes there in, uh, in New Zealand, sort of, I mean, they, 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 they immigrate, they, they, they went to that island several hundred years before, uh, the Europeans did, but they, they, they went there too. They were like, I think the Maori were originally a Polynesian, uh, uh, tribe. I'm trying to remember. We did we did some museums while we were there and learned some stuff. But uh, anyways, it was a funny it was funny, and again he was a wonderful guy. So I was pleased to to visit with him with Trevor. But kudos to Trevor for for just being unflappable and 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 asking him some questions and and allowing him to be part of the uh, the process. That was very cool of you. Thank you. But it was funny. Okay, we're, we're going to go out here. Oh, okay, sounds good. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I got time for one more song. My voice sort of held out, so. Just about everything pisses me off. I walk around mad all day. I come into this world middle finger first and I'm probably going out the same way. Trevor can attest to this, or maybe he can, but I sang this song at the uh, Taranaki Country Music Festival. And uh, the, whole ba uh, uh, the whole back row was full of people that were doing like, you know, they do the thing where they hold up the, the match or they hold up the lighter and they wave their hands back and forth like this. Well, instead of a lighter, the whole back row just had their middle fingers up and they were waving them back and forth. So that was kind of nice. Well, you got your rats on the left and the vermin on the right. Keep us riled up, cause they like to watch us fight. And if we're all distracted, then we won't even care. When they get out of office, they're all multi-millionaires and just about everything pisses me off. Walk around man all day. I come into this world middle finger first, and I'm probably going out the same way. Well, you got your kids running. Ten years of college and they live in mama's home. They're triggered and they're tweeting, think their life is such a rut. I wish they'd take that hashtag and stick it up their butt. Just about everything pisses me off. Walk around man all day. I come into this world, middle finger first, and I'm probably going out the same way. Centers drive me up a while. Fast food drive through always gets it wrong. Don't get me started on them freaking robo calls. It's a miracle I'm ever sober at all. Just about everything pisses me off. Walk around man all day. I come into this world, middle finger first, and I'm probably going out the same way. Well, I come into this world, middle finger first, and I'm probably going out the same way, two, three. All right, that concludes the music portion of the morning or late evening for my friends Trevor and Kathy. Uh, if if y'all celebrate Easter, I wish you a happy Easter. If you don't, it's still Easter, so I hope you have a good weekend and maybe maybe you'll find a random egg in your backyard. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, uh, I'm going to finish watching Fargo. I'll let you know how that goes. So far, I'm just, I get done with an episode and I'm like, what? Keep going. So, but I knew I had to get up early this morning to sing songs for you. So I did not power through last night. Uh, all right, Tim, 
Connie, I'm so happy to see you. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm here every Friday morning for the most part. Like I said, I've been gone for a month and I think you can hear why. But, uh, but I look forward to catching up with y'all next week. So be nice to each other. Verl, hey, how are you, buddy? Uh, uh, happy, happy Easter to you. And uh, yeah, y'all just be careful out there and be nice to each other. Be nice to yourselves, and we'll uh, we'll we'll see you soon. Uh, Aaron, did I miss any of my favorites? Uh, no, you were the first one here, and uh, some of your favorites I don't have the voice for today, so I don't know that I did them. Actually, I know I didn't do them, but uh, but I, I will again. The the voice is slowly getting stronger, so we'll get there. Uh, you guys take care. Talk to you all soon.